Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. Today I'd like to share something that I bought myself. <laughs> I've been watching a couple of videos and these two books really caught my eye and I had to pick them up. Now there's a big um, kind of a, a way you go about doing this is you go to the author's illustrator's um, Instagram page and you need to uh, contact her through there. It's not sold on Amazon and no, they're not sold on Etsy. So I will leave a link down to her Instagram account if you're interested. Um, these are not uh, purchased from the United States where I live. They are in the, uh, <laughs> another country. In fact, I was surprised they actually got here on her as quick as they did because they're on the other side of the world from me. <laughs> but like I said, I'll leave a, a little uh, link down below in the description box. You just have to open it. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the um, books here. Uh, she sent a little card. Um, it's got a beautiful flower on the front. I'll get this out. And uh, this kind of tells you about the <laughs> books that we have here. There are um, botanical, which I've kind of gotten into wanting to do a little bit more realistic flowers and such. So I thought this might give me some practice in these two books. So I have the, the set. I wanted both books, so I picked them both up. The books themselves aren't... Um, that expensive. I mean, they are expensive, but they're not that expensive. But the, it's the shipping to get them over here to the United States that gets them up a little higher. So this is uh, Petra, and I cannot pronounce the last name because I don't want to screw it up. But uh, I don't know if it's a G sound or a different sound. So guess, yeah, you see it. <laughs> I'm not going to guess it. <laughs> I'll have to hear somebody else pronounce it. But these are the two books, and I'm um, not quite sure which one's the first book and which one's the second book, but we're going to go with this one first, and we're going to do a flip through of both of these books. Hopefully the camera can get a good look at these. So I'm going to have to fold that over. I'm going to break the spine a little bit here so I can get it to bend. There we go. So this is our first page. Now, if you can hear that, this is a really nice cardstock. Watercolor probably very well in here. Uh, some of the pages will have <laughs> this on this side. I have to fold that back just a little bit. Sorry, I haven't opened these books yet. But I want to get that to fold down so we can look at both pages here. They're gorgeous. Some of the pages will have her artwork here on the side so you can use it as inspiration and or a color um, matching here so you can figure out that the daffodils are this color and the flowers are you know done this way. Then you can take also these colors and how you drew it here and apply it into some of the flowers that are in the other section of the book, which is cool. Get this over here so you can see everything. Now it um, has a tiny bit of sheen to it in the black. Um, these leaves are going to be really dark green down here, so she's added that in for you to get it a darker shade. We do have some shade lines in here so you know where your darkness is. And then you have some that don't have the shading on them so you just have to kind of peek and bring it over. But I mean these pictures are just gorgeous. Oh, wow. That gorgeous I'm saying. Sorry. They are stitched in. So you have the stitching that goes down here. That is just gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> one-sided for the most part but I mean this paper is gorgeous too okay this is I believe her first book 
So here we have a rose and you can transfer that color over. You can use either these colors or your own colors. Using your own colors you can still see um, where they put the shadow lines, where they put the contours, where they put the highlights and the deep colors, which is something I find fascinating. I don't know how to do that in some flowers. I just kind of guess. I'll look at a picture and follow it. <laughs> And then we have fruits in here too. So you can do the fruit, apples, pears, and of course then you have to pick out what's what here. Oh, and that's pretty colors just on their own. And the watercolor background back here. <laughs> That'd be fun to try. But yeah, gorgeous pictures. kind of a cream paper, not bright white too, which is really nice when you're doing flowers. I want some mushrooms. Ooh, beautiful. And here we have a page of, uh, I think these are bearded irises and crocuses. I have crocuses <laughs> all out in my front yard and they're all coming up and they're about that tall right now. <laughs> they line the front uh, garden and they're the first ones that uh, pop up and then the tulips come up right behind them and they're really pretty. So we have purple and um, gold uh, crocuses and behind them, like I said, are the uh, tulips and my tulips come in uh, purple, black, red, yellow and um, lavender shades. So it looks really pretty when it's all bloomed. But there we have our irises over here that we can do. And then we have these beautiful flowers up here. I don't know what these are, but that'll be pretty. And then of course that background will look really nice back here too. Oh, gorgeous roses. And here we have some of our uh, fruits. So we have our grapes. Black grapes, purple grapes, and then we have the apple tree blossoms and the apples. So that'll be really pretty over here. Our apples are green. I have three apple trees. <laughs> All my apples are green. <laughs> I don't have any grapes. I don't think we have the weather for grapes, but those are pretty. Oh gosh, look at the cute little mouse. Oh, he's adorable. Okay, we have the bulbs. So we can grow the tulips. Uh, I believe those are hyacinth. Um, we call these grape hyacinth. That core crocus there. That's pretty. We have a little bouquet. And then we have, oh, this one's nice. It's a little heart with all the little flowers around it. That's pretty. I hope I'm in focus. I'm just looking at the pictures. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here we have a little puppy at the moon and all the uh, fruit out here. We got uh, the grapes and the strawberries. <laughs> Orchids. Like I said, this page is really thick. I'll leave a link down to Connie's page too. Um, this is where I've seen her do all the work. She's done a couple of these pages and she does really nice work in here. Then you can uh, see how she works and what kind of um, medium she uses because she does a wonderful job. Oh, these look like, um, I'm going to say gladiolas and some hydrangeas. Yes, I have hydrangeas too. <laughs> I have a very nice little garden here. We have a wreath. This could be succulents. Oh, that would be fun. Oh, these are pretty too. Oh. Just the whole book, every page you look at. 
Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. So yeah, each one of these books has got a nice selection of flowers to color. That's the end of the book and her information here. And then the back of the book. And those can give you inspiration on colors also. Just the pretty pictures there. And the second book, this is the first one. Um, it's this word and then this word. So that's two separate words. Not sure what they mean. <laughs> this one goes this way and this way and same author. So we're going to open this one and go through this one. Now I have to do the same thing and get this page open. Okay, oh, well, that's just pretty on its own, isn't it? With the roses and the berries on the wreath. That is gorgeous. <laughs> I like that picture. <laughs> Oh, and here we have another heart. This looks more like a, um, oh, it's a, she's got it as brown. I was going to say a tart, but I don't know if you eat this particular flower. Could be edible. I'm not sure. But that is pretty. Okay, I gotta pull that side over just a little bit more. So we're going to put it that way and get the spine open brand new so it's a little difficult for me to do there we go okay so we have daffodils here these are going to be pretty whatever they are i'm not sure they look a little fuzzy <laughs> well these look like lilacs or hydrangeas your choice I think they look like lilacs to me. These I'm not sure of. I'll have to be looking up some flowers. Here she has a whole uh, scene here with the cat in the church. All the flowers coming around. That would be pretty done up too. Then we have just a arrangement of fruit here. Like I said, if you see a picture in the other book, too, you can use that as inspiration or figure out what these berries are. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's just pretty like it is. Here we have another one of the irises, which you could use the other book and uh, use the um, colors, the inspiration for that. It's just pretty. Wish I could draw like that. <laughs> okay, you could either do it that way or you could do it this way. Either way is pretty. Here we have a bouquet of flowers. Again, this is the same paper as the other book. Nice and thick. Nice wreath of, of fruits. Pears, apples, strawberries, plums, cherries. Here we have the little puppy. He's relaxing in the strawberry field. It's going to be a very small puppy. <laughs> or the flowers are really big. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Okay, I can just say that for all of them. Sorry if I keep repeating myself. <laughs> oh, this one's cool. Okay, we've got the um, green grapes and the, we call them black grapes because they're darker purple. Uh, star fruit, dragon fruit. In case you didn't know what a dragon fruit color was on the inside, that's really nice. Um, if they were a little redder, I would call them starts with a P. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. Pomegranate. <laughs> and then we got some oranges here. Now it's nice to see what the dragon fruit looks like on both sides. Oh, another beautiful bouquet. Oh, pretty, pretty. 
pretty pretty. I would love snapdragons. I love snapdragons. Gotta get some seeds this year. <laughs> okay, this one's beautiful too. Got berries. Oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Yep, we're about halfway done here. <laughs> you got a lot more to go through. But oh, they're just gorgeous pictures. I saw Connie do this one. This is gorgeous. Hers turned out really pretty on this. But we have the um, the hydrangeas here and the, and the lilies. And of course, all the leaves. It's fun to see how the leaves are done on these because they're all different. Looks like we have um, pears and then, then like some squash and some nuts here. More flowers. Oh, this one's pretty. Needs a snail. I could put a snail in there. <laughs> All the mushrooms and the leaves that fell down. Oh, and here's another little puppy. Well, it looks like Christmas here with the, um, the little wood balls and the holly. <laughs> oh, goody, this one has the name of some plants on the back, so you can um, <laughs> look them up. Um, I would put these in Google Translate to get the correct name, because I can't read this language, although it looks very pretty. And then we have the information back here and a couple extra mushrooms. And then the back of this book. Absolutely gorgeous. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed. And I will leave a link down to um, Petra's uh, Instagram account if you're interested. I will say if you're in the United States, this does uh, add up. Uh, just going to warn you. Beautiful books, though. I'm going to have a lot of fun coloring in these. That was my little present for me. <laughs> uh, so I will see you guys in another video. I hope you all had a wonderful day, or have a wonderful day. You can have it, or had it. Doesn't make any difference. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Take care, everyone. Bye now.